was created from an African easterly wave that moved across the tropical Atlantic Ocean beginning on September 10th of 2017. On the 16th, it was classified as a tropical depression, then a tropical storm, and later upgraded to a hurricane. Maria quickly intensified from a Category 1 to an extremely dangerous 5 due to favorable environmental conditions. Maria's first landfall was in Dominica and maintained a Category 5 towards the U.S. Virgin Islands in Puerto Rico. The center of Maria approached the U.S. Virgin Islands in Puerto Rico with an increase in the frequency of rain bands and the strength of the winds. Hurricane Maria hit Yabacoa, Puerto Rico, Wednesday morning of September 20th, 2017, as a Category 4. Rampant hurricane winds spread all over the island of Puerto Rico, along with severely heavy rainfalls that led to catastrophic flooding and flash flooding. Its powerful 155 mile per hour winds uprooted trees, ripped wood and tin roofs off buildings, and downed cell towers and weather stations. Electricity was cut off to 100% of the island and access to food and water became scarce. This hurricane put Puerto Rico's 3.4 million residents into a desperate humanitarian crisis. This was the worst storm it has seen in nearly 80 years, which caused about $94.4 billion in damage. An estimate of $780 million was lost in agriculture yields as about 80% of crop value was wiped out. This further intensified already high poverty and fragile food security. Over 200,000 residents temporarily and permanently left the island to the mainland of the U.S. They had no full power for almost a year, and the health system became highly overwhelmed while being short-staffed. The Federal Emergency Management Agency, FEMA, worked around the clock to restore power and communications. They provided millions of meals and liters of water, while FEMA and the U.S. Coast Guard also rescued nearly 560 people. Some changes linked to climate change include hurricanes increasing in rainfall due to warming atmospheric temperatures since warm air holds more moisture than cold. With the oceans warming, this creates more fuel or power for hurricanes and other tropical storms to intensify. Atlantic hurricanes have been becoming more intense and more rapidly in recent decades, and scientists believe climate change may be the factor. In this graph, we can see the general trend of Atlantic tropical cyclones becoming more rapidly intense since 1950. Hurricane Maria brought 30% more rainfall than previous years recorded and had 66% more precipitation than the previously most extreme storm in 1985. In graph C, you can see the island mean total rainfall from 1995 through 2015, and you can see the significant rainfall level from Hurricane Maria. In graph D, it shows 129 historical tropical cyclones with Hurricane Maria having the highest precipitation levels. While barely recovering after three years, a series of earthquakes hit, followed by the long COVID-19 pandemic and Hurricane Isaias to an already vulnerable island. Looking forward, Puerto Rico has been implementing more renewable energy sources to increase resilience. They also created a new disaster response plan with emergency warehouses stocked with supplies and better satellite connections for emergency communications.